no doubt about it. It's cold as we're out and about in Raleigh tonight. We saw people all bundled up, and people can plan to stay bundled up for a while. Wes, what's really ridiculous about this cold weather is that it's technically still fall. Yeah, and tomorrow, the last full day of fall. Winter arrives Saturday night. Tomorrow, also the last day of work and school for a lot of you, so hopefully you can enjoy that. You're going to do it with a very cold start. This morning, as we talked about a second ago, 27. Our coldest morning of the season so far, 24 degrees. This morning, 27. So 25 is what we're forecasting tomorrow morning. Going to come very close to the coldest morning of the season. 25 at 6 a.m. as we go hour by hour. We only jump up to 32 at 9 a.m. Then a little bit of a southerly wind kicks in. That'll get us into the mid-40s by lunchtime, which was about our high today. Lots of sunshine. Of course, no rain tomorrow. On our way to a high of 52. As we get into late tomorrow night, that's when we'll start to see a few clouds trickle in, and then we'll have plenty of clouds over the weekend and even some rain. One of my favorite lakes around the area, southwestern Wake County, Harris Lake, getting the assist tonight with our super sunset. This is from last week. Thanks to uh, Bill for sharing uh, this picture with us. I'm not sure I'd want to actually dive into the lake at this point in the season, but during the warmer months, it's a great lake. I'll put this picture on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page if you want to take a second look. And hey, as you travel uh, to Grandma's house and around the country this holiday season, if you're somewhere else, Bring me one of those super sunsets back here. I try to show them every night at 11 o'clock. You can send me an email to send it at cbs17.com. So we had two cold fronts this week. The first one brought us rain. The second one came through last night. Didn't bring any rain or clouds, but it brought reinforcements of cold air. And then high pressure kind of cleared everything out on the eastern half of the country. This high is going to start to shift around tomorrow, and that's going to start to shift our weather. Tomorrow, we'll eventually get into that southerly wind I talked about, and that's going to help to warm us up. It's also going to be the last sunny day for a few days because we'll bring clouds into the forecast on Saturday. It's going to stay cool, but the rain will stay to our south on Saturday. That rain will get a little closer on Sunday, and Sunday's not going to be a washout. It's barely going to make it up here, and it's later in the day that we'll have some scattered showers, and then some of that rain hangs around for Monday as well. And then the rest of next week, Christmas week, is actually looking to be really nice, comfortable, and mostly dry. Tomorrow will be mostly dry, but cool. After a start in the 20s, we'll top out in the low 50s. 53 for a high tomorrow in Fayetteville. Wilson about 51 degrees, a couple degrees cooler in Roanoke Rapids. Wayne County, low 50s. We'll keep it in the low 50s here in the Triangle. Again, today it was only 44 so 52 in Raleigh tomorrow, 51 out in Chapel Hill, struggling to get into the upper 40s along the Virginia border. So all of these numbers just barely below average for this time of year. And as we head into the weekend, it's going to be a little different than last weekend. Last weekend, 55 Saturday, 61 on Sunday. This weekend, we'll see highs both days around 50 degrees. So here's what it all looks like on your extended forecast. A little warmer tomorrow, still with sunny skies. Clouds move in Saturday, but we stay dry. There's your scattered showers late in the day Sunday. A few of them stick around Monday as well. Then we'll turn the radar off for a few days. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday it stays dry with highs around 60. And Marius, your exclusive 10-day forecast brings small chances of rain back to central North Carolina next Friday and Saturday. So we get through tomorrow. We get through some rain Sunday and Monday, and then we've got a pretty decent week for Christmas. Pretty good day to ride bikes for Christmas on huh? Christmas, skateboards yes. and stuff like that. Not tomorrow morning, though. No, not at all. No. It's a little too cold little for that. Too, yeah. All right, Wes, thanks.